In this video, we are going to be taking a look at custom widgets. So, so far, we have only been working in main.dart. And also, we've only been using the widgets that Flutter provides us. So starting in this video, we are going to start A, creating custom widgets by combining Flutter widgets, and B, writing code outside of main.dart. So let's take a look at how to do that. As always, right now, here's my basic Flutter app. And as you can see, the child is just a simple text widget. Now let's change this to a custom widget. So first we're going to find that custom widget down in, in main.dart. So we'll say widget my cool widget just like that. So that is how easy it is to define your own widget. And then inside of here, we can return whatever we want to return. So for example, let's return a text widget. This is our custom widget. So here's our widget. Now, how do we use that? Well, simple. Since the widget is declared in the same file that we we're trying to use it, in, we can simply just call it my cool widget, just like that. And as you can see, our text changed to this widget. Now, this is kind of pointless at this point because we're just returning a simple text widget. But what if we wanted to add two widgets or three or 10 or even more than that? That is where this method of splitting up your code comes in handy. So you wouldn't have to all of your code or all 10 of those widgets right here. You could put it into a custom widget and then eventually extract that to a different file. For example, let's change this to container and we'll give this a child of a column. And then we can pass in various children. So I'm just going to throw in some widgets here. So as you can see, this is a lot of widgets. So by wrapping it in a custom widget, we can declare it and use it with only one name. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to remove this widget and put it in its own file. Let's go ahead and copy that. And we should get an error, that's fine. Let's go into the lib folder and create a new file. We'll just call it my widget and finish it off with the dot dart. And let's paste it in here. And we're getting some errors because we need to import the material.dart file. So go ahead and do that. There we go. So now we have the same widget in its own file. And to call this, we can just import it. So we'll say import package, the name of our app, in my case that is custom widgets, slash my widget dot dart. And then we can use it the same way. So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you how you can combine the widgets that Flutter gives us into your own custom widget and break and how you can break up your code and have it in different files so everything doesn't get cluttered. In the next video, we're going to be taking a look at Flutter packages.